Today, I'm giving you guys access to the access to IA machine. That stands for amino assay, all right? So today, we're gonna show you how to do the maintenance on this guy so you can get this ready for your daily run. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you do your maintenance is click on the menu and click maintenance review right here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure everything is in range, your incubator, wash carousel. So these are the limits. And as long as these numbers are within these limits, you're good. So here we just wanna check out the fluidic module. The fluidic module is just a fancy name for bottles and shit. So just check that there's no leakage is here and you're good. Now we're gonna clean the wash carousel probes. So you open this guy. And here are the probes right here. So here's an alcohol wipe. And you can simply, you see these, these are the probes right here. You can simply wipe them with an alcohol wipe and you can even pull them out from here if you'd want to do a deeper clean. But here are the probes and as long as they're clean, you're gonna be good to go. You could just simply wipe them, okay? All right, so now we're gonna need to prime the substrate. So the way that we do it is we click on Menu, Diagnostics, and then you can go to Prime Fluidics. You wanna prime the substrate. Substrate, all that is is amino acid, right? So it's a sandwich. So it's like the antibody with the chemiluminescent molecule. If you wanna think about it, it's like your light juice. You want the light juice to be primed through the system. So click Start Priming. And then there you go. Next part is we need to run the daily system clean. So now let's do the daily system clean. So click on sample manager. And then you gotta scan a rack, scan it in. So boom, boom, see, it's on there. All right, so now you wanna go to F4 right here and go to maintenance request. You click maintenance request and you can do the daily clean and okay and that's good. You know, that's generally what you do. You can click special clean if you want a, a deeper clean and so it's more thorough. And then you want like no clean. That's what my employees tell me when I ask them to clean stuff. They say no clean. All right, that was bad. And then you can check the system check button too. So now we're ready to go. So, you know, you click okay. You have all of these positions here. You see that? So you see I already put all the cups in there. This is Contrad. This is Citronox. This is Wash Buffer. This is your system check solution. This is your wash buffer. This is an empty cup. And this is gonna be your system check solution. It's one part system check solution and 500 parts just wash buffer. So it's a very diluted um, solution. And now we load the rack. We just take this guy, we put it in here, we close it, and then we click load the rack. And then when that's ready, you just hit run. And you notice it's moved from off board to on board. And then you just hit run. And then it'll start. And then after this, you can run your samples. All right, so that's the video. So now you have access to the knowledge of how to maintain the access to instrument. Um, hey, look, man, um, you got a free training video. Uh, you know, I, I, I tell the joke, you get the video. I think it's a good, good, good exchange. So you know, everyone should be happy now. That's it? Uh, what, what do you want me to say? Oh, like and subscribe and, you know, it's free information. I mean, why wouldn't you want to subscribe? It's, who else is gonna teach you this stuff? Nobody, that's who. It's just me, <laughs> I'm all, all you got. Okay, all right. <laughs>